All right, folks, we have an extremely nice chair here. This is a Quickie QM710. This power chair has 25 miles. It was used maybe for a month or two. This chair has an extremely well, uh, the, the suspension on this chair is just out of this world, okay? So uh, the Quickie company called the suspension on these, it's called the Spider Track Suspension. I mean, when, when I rode this chair a few minutes ago, you can just tell it just has a really nice suspension. Um, front, back, all these are suspended with their own shocks. The, uh, the top speed on this chair is at least six miles an hour, if not six and a half miles an hour. This chair, as I said, has 25 miles. It's practically brand new. It has the 12-inch uh, seat lift. It has the electric tilt and the electric recline. Their feet are manual, they don't go anywhere. So we have the seat lift of 12 inches, the electric tilt, the electric recline. All the functions can be worked through the joystick or through the switch box. And the switch box is on the left side, so I'm not gonna use that one, I'm gonna use the joystick. So today, by using the joystick, what you would do is you would go to the mode, and as soon as you get to the mode, you'll see a picture of the chair on the screen. Whatever portion is black is what the function is gonna be. So if you want the tilt, you're gonna want the bottom and the back black. And you can move the function by moving the joystick sideways. So I'm going to go sideways. Now I have the bottom black, and that's the seat lift. Let's start with the seat lift. So just this portion is black on here. Once you have that, by going back and forth, you can raise the seat. So if you go forward, some of them you got to go backward. This one you got to go forward, and there goes your seat lift going up. Okay, you're going to start roughly at 22 inches, and by the time you go up 12 inches, you'll be at 34 inches total height. Okay, so the seat is going up right now. This chair, look at this chair, it looks, I mean, brand spanking new looks like. And the seat is almost there. There we go. And let's put it back in drive just to see if it drives with the seat elevated. So it does drive with the seat elevated at a reduced speed, okay? So you can see the speed right there is reduced because the seat's elevated. So if you're gonna use this chair in the house, you can still get around at about this speed right here. Okay, so the seat is elevated. Let's look at the base on this chair while the seat's elevated. We can see the armature for the seat lift right here. We can see the actuator right here that makes the seat go up. Um, you can actually see these are 14 inch solid tires, they're not gonna mark your floors. Caster wheels in the front, caster wheels in the back. You can see the suspension back here is on a shock. There's a shock back here, you can't see it. There's, there's one there and there's one for the front. That's what gives you that suspension on this chair that's so great. Also the chair weighs probably 400 pounds. So with a 400 pound chair and that type of suspension, with another 200 pound rider, let's just say, you're gonna get a really good ride. You have an anchor point here and you have another anchor point here. This is where you secure your chair to your lift if you're gonna transport this chair. You have four of these around the chair to use, okay? You can actually see the motor right here going right down to the hub right here. These are direct drive motors. Uh, this, is, this is a high quality motor, four pole motors. Uh, these are the good motors. Uh, if I wanna push this chair right now, you can see we're in gear, we're not going anywhere, okay? So if you ever want to push a chair because you have an issue, and hopefully you won't, but if you ever had an issue, just turn the power off. And the reason you want the power off, you want no resistance in these motors. Power off, and right on your motor, you'll see a little handle right here. Push it down, and now what that does, it unlocks your wheel, okay? And you have one for each side, okay? So you have a motor here, and you have a motor on this side. Put them both in neutral, and then you can roll the chair. When you're done, do not forget, a lot of people forget, put it back in gear. Because if you don't put it back in gear, everything's going to light up and then you're not going to be able to go anywhere because you're in neutral, okay? Uh, so you're back in gear and now you turn your power back on and we're back in business, okay? So let's go back to the mode. Let's go now, let's go, whoop. let's go back down. As the seat's going down, let me talk about this. This is called a swing away joystick right here. You can swing the joystick away from the front a little bit. It takes it from here to here. It gives you a little more room. You can get closer to a dining table. So it has a swing away joystick. You have flip up arms. So if you transfer from the side, um, 
it's a lot easier. You know, if you, if, you, if you use a board and you transfer from the side, you need to raise the arms up. Both arms can be raised up. The joystick's on the right, but if you're left-handed, we can switch the joystick to the left side and put the control box on this side if we have to, okay? We're gonna go now, we're gonna go what's called the tilt. The tilt is when the base right here goes back. Of course, when you have this going back, it's gonna take the legs, it's gonna take the back, because they're all connected together. This is called the electric tilt. This is good if you, want, if you have a bad back, you wanna relieve pressure on your bottom right here. This is really good for also relaxing. It takes all kinds of pressure off your body. This is what it looks like if you were leaning back in this chair, as far back as the tilt would go is this far, okay? Now the legs over here, these are adjustable, okay? So if you're five feet tall or six foot tall, we can let these foot plate down more and, uh, and that's all we can do. They, they won't go up and down, but we can let, let them out according to your height. That we can do for you, okay? I'm gonna bring the tilt back down. So we've covered now the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt. And now we've got the tilt back down. Now we're gonna to go to the recline. The recline is when the back goes back by itself, okay? That's called the electric recline. This is as far as it'll go, okay? So if you were laying in your chair, relaxing, that's as far as your back would go. Again, as I said, this is made by Sunrise Medical, the company who owns Quickie. And this is a Quickie M710. This is a highly, highly engineered chair. Well, these, I call these the high-end chair. These are the good companies that have the good product and the high quality materials, okay? So now we've done the, uh, the three functions. We're gonna put it back in drive. And I'm going to show you how the chair turns in a circle. So this is a mid-wheel. So it turns in a 20-inch circle. I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. Not a 20-inch circle. It says a 20-inch, but it's, it's figuring half. To make it simple, it turns on its own length. So if I put a box right here and I put a box behind that wheel, I could turn all day long like this. Okay? So the chair's not moving. That's your turning radius, the length of the chair uh, it's better than saying th these numbers they say that's I don't know how they figured it out But I always tell people it's the length of the chair is how this chair is going to turn when it's mid-wheel drive It's usually the length of the chair. Okay, the seat on this chair is 18 by roughly 20 inch deep It's a gel the front is foam the bottom part where you sit is all full of gel right in here This part is gel you have a safety belt you have a nice contoured back, okay? This is, you can't tell from there, but it's like, when you're in here, you're contoured. You, you should stay right in the middle of the seat. The arms are nice and flat. They also have a little bit of a contour, so your arm stays on the, foot, on, the, on the pad. The back of the chair, you have push bars, okay? So these are on there automatically. And you have a headrest that's fully adjustable, okay? When you charge this chair, you'll take your charger that comes with the chair and you'll plug it right below the joystick right here. And as soon as the light goes from orange to green, you're fully charged. So let's recap. This is a Quickie. This is a Quickie QM710 power chair. It has the Spider Track suspension, which is the uh, very famous suspension for this company. It's called the Spider Track suspension. This, I, already, I already wrote this chair outside. It's just got a really nice ride. It has the electric 12-inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline. It has the swing-away joystick. It has the flip-up arms. The seat is 18 by 20 deep. This chair will stay the way it is. We're not changing the seat on this chair, so if, you're, you know, if this seat does not fit, uh, you're going to have to look for another chair. So 18 by 20 deep. Um, Heavy duty power chair. It has a 300 pound weight capability. This chair is very, very fast, between six to six and a half miles an hour. It's very fast. It has the anchor points all the way around. It has the high speed motors right here. It has uh, the cushion that comes with it, the charger. Um, it's just a really nice chair. If you just need the seat lift, the tilt, and the recline, 
As I said earlier, the feet are manual. We can adjust them up and down depending how tall you are. That part we can do, but everything else will stay the same on this chair. This is a really, really nice chair as you'll see in the video. This chair, even when you turn, you can feel the suspension. I'm gonna go in and out of that building right there. You'll see the suspension, how great that suspension is in the front wheels. You can see how the wheels just give up. They just go with the, they go with the flow. So this is the uh, Quickie QM710. Um, it has the electric tilt, this 12 inch seat lift, the electric recline. It has the spider track suspension. <clears throat> the speed on this chair is between six, six and a half miles an hour. It's really a uh, really quick power chair and the suspension is out of this world. Elevate the seat right now. So there goes the seat lift. I want to show you how the seat goes up. Uh, so this chair will drive with the seat elevated at a reduced speed. So it's mainly for inside. I don't think you'd want to drive outside with the seat elevated. It doesn't really go fast enough for that with the seat elevated. But the seat is going up right now from 22 inches all the way up to 34 inches. The top of the seat will be when it's all the way up. If you're going to ride this chair with the seat elevated outside, please flat surface. You know. Um, you got to take care of these chairs. This is not with the seat elevated somewhere where you shouldn't be. So the seat is elevated. This is your top speed with the seat elevated. So if you're in the kitchen, it'll move, but it'll move at a reduced speed. So this is the top speed that this company will allow you to drive with the seat elevated. Okay, that's just for safety purpose. This company decided that that's as fast as it'll be. The suspension is really, really nice. Uh, if you're going to be on a flat surface, you'll be able to tell how smooth that is. It's like riding a sofa, just about. Uh, so this is the Quickie QM710, practically brand new. It has 25 miles on it. Uh, it was used maybe for a month or two. Uh, another gorgeous chair, ready to go. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.